Hi, Axolots. You know what's more fun than being yourself? Being someone else. So I watched Danny Gonzalez's video a while back where he tried to change his identity. And I thought to myself, that sounds fun. That doesn't look stressful at all. I'm gonna try to do that. And then I'm also gonna be posting a picture of my new self on Instagram, pretending that it's someone else, and see if anybody catches on. Hi guys, Editing File here. Just to give you a disclaimer, um, I am incredibly delusional in this video. I have crossed the threshold of delusion. I have never been more delusional in my life, I have never seen anyone as delusional as myself in this video. I genuinely thought that I could alter my looks in such a way where a hundred thousand people would not be able to recognize me, including my family and friends, through pure basic makeup. I genuinely thought it would work and that I had a breakdown when I realized it wasn't working. I think one of the blessings in life is knowing that there's always someone out there who is dumber than you are. And my purpose on this earth is to show you that I am that person. But since I'm wearing a mask, I can't really give myself the easy way out of using FaceApp to morph my face with John Cena's. If you're curious, this is what it looks like. Yes, this counts as a face reveal. So I'll have to rely on completely organic methods. So first of all, I have listed down my most recognizable attribute. I have charming, rotten, kidney stone colored eyes. Next up, as we are all aware, I look like a 13 year old boy. So we need to work on somehow changing, first of all, my hair, my face, my style, my body, my hair. I think I already said that. So first of all, I had to construct the perfect new identity. Deviously, I immediately went and created a new Instagram account so people would go follow it. But to do that, I required a name. Thankfully, I had a friend with me at the time to consult for this. They gave me a fake name. Sarah. No. Margaret. I'm not an old British woman in the 1800s. <laughs> Bolivia? Who the fuck is this in Bolivia? <laughs> Stephanie is the most common. Jenny is the most basic Chinese girl name. Yeah, I did. Jenny Sun, let's go! <laughs> After that was settled, I decided that Jenny was the type of person to stretch her name really long and put a dot at the back. Then I found this image on Pinterest to be her profile picture, therefore establishing her aesthetic early on. After that was the name and the bio. Using my knowledge of girls on my campus, I went ahead and used a fancy font generator to write out her name in cursive and then put a nice little emoji next to it. Now I thought trying to pass her off as my cousin would be funny, but you know what's even more funny? Trying to pass her off as my girlfriend because one, I somehow thought that I would look different enough for this to work and two, I somehow thought people would believe that I have a girlfriend. But at the time, I was the Lulu, so I put a little heart in the bio and my initials next to it. Cause a lot of couples like doing that. Not that I would know. I then realized that having such a brand new account existing would be suspicious. So I made it out like Jenny had just moved into a new account and it was a common thing for her to do. Afterwards, I put a random phrase in Chinese. Uh, this translates to something like, I'm so bored because I really wanted to create that kind of soft Chinese girl in Xiao Hongshu kind of vibe. Now on to the most important part, becoming Jenny. Hey, so my microphone wasn't plugged in when I was trying to change my eye color, so that's the L you take when you try to be fancy. Also, I'm sick. Did I mention I'm sick? Please give me sympathy, drop a like, subscribe, give me money, I have the common cold. Unfortunately, I nearly blinded myself three times in the process because one of the contacts lost their prescription and made everything blurry, but we power through by clawing at my eyeball with nails that are way too long. Because with pink eyes comes pink eye. How long was this mic turned off? So next up, we're going to be um, the eyebrows. Since this is such a vital part of completing the look, I went to the most trustworthy source of information possible. Witty how? I have a cup of your eyebrows with a glue stick. Step one, clean your eyebrows. <laughs> Step two, spoolie your eyebrows. Ooh, spoolie, that's what it's called. <laughs> Step three, rub glue stick on your eyebrows.
I know, this is extremely masculine. Upwards, yes. If I don't have eyebrows after this, I'm going to be very upset. Maybe I should just keep them like this. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jenny. Completely unrelated to Feline's son. As you can see, we have different eyebrow shapes. It's looking pretty... Ow! It's looking pretty flat. The next step would be to... Find a fine translucent powder. However, I don't have translucent powder. I have this powder, which is just like some kind of matte skin poreless kind of thing but I feel like the theory should be the same yeah this looks this looks about the same as the image yeah this is the, it is the same thing the next step is to apply concealer can this stop happening? Whoa! Whoa! We are experiencing the miracle of life here! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, there's a few strands of hair that popped out. Oh. So basically, for the rest of this, I just tried to conceal as much as possible. And when it was clear my temper looked more like a dried up desert than a hairless ass cheek, I went straight to drawing on new eyebrows that would make me pretty much unrecognizable. Except I drew the eyebrows. The exact same as my normal ones? What was I thinking? There is visually barely any difference. There's like 50 eyebrow shapes I could have done, but I just did my eyebrows the same, yet somehow uglier. I think this looks like my normal brows. What, what, what was the whole point? Afterwards came the daunting task of attempting to change my eye shape by doing an eyeliner I've never done before. Puppy liner. And before any of you tell me I'm Asian fishing, I have never done this eyeliner style before, but I am an artist, so how hard can it be? <laughs> and then, the delusion kicked in. Okay, honestly, this is already pretty unrecognizable, right? Right? Yeah, I'm right. Yes, 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 it's all coming together! You can't tell this is me. Come on, be honest. You can't. Great. So next up is my body oddy oddy. You may be wondering to yourself, where are my tits? The answer is that I deflated them. I deflated my tits like little balloons and I put them in that drawer over there. Boom, they're back now. And I think that's about the only change to my body I can make. Unless I can get super jacked or gain like 50 pounds in the span of an hour, I don't think there are any other modifications I can make. I could cut off an arm, but I think that might be going a little bit too far. And plus, I would need someone to lend me an arm for that. Okay, so next up is the outfit. Now, if you've been following me for a while now, you'd know that I used to dress pretty feminine. So this is a bit of a tricky direction. I have only like four or five dresses and skirts that I reuse every three photos or so. So I rummage through my drawers to find the one dress that I don't think I've ever posted. It makes me feel like a little sailor girl. How do I still look like a 12 year old boy? It makes no sense. Oh, hold on. There's tie here so I can cinch my waist. Okay, pretty unrecognizable. I then tried to cheat the system by wearing a piece of jewelry I had never worn before. Earrings. Problem is, I don't have the required hole in order to wear such earrings. I don't have ear holes. Ear holes? Yeah, I don't, I don't have ear holes. In fact, I am actually deaf. But that's not a problem for Feline Master Disguiser's son, who thought of a way out of this conundrum pretty quickly. Oh my god, oh my god, what did I say? What did I say about doubting me? What did I say? Unfortunately, the solution also fell off pretty quickly. My earring has failed. 
Now, while I don't have a face to change, I do have a mask to fix. This black mask worn incorrectly has been a statement piece across all my photos. Thankfully, I have this pink mask which I've never worn on Instagram before. And furthermore, never worn correctly before. That's right, I've actually been wearing my mask wrong in all my photos for the past 6 months just for this moment right here, just so I can bamboozle you all. My mind has been in this system since the dawn of time. Now for the final thing, the final most important thing. A wig. This one is a lot better quality. However, I can't wear it for this because I've already posted like a little sneak peek of me wearing this hair. So people would know. This, however, is much cheaper, much worse in quality. Almost every single hair strand is falling off, but no one has seen it yet. Around this time, I realized something. In order to truly pass off this character, I had to treat her like an actual existing person I've known for years. Alright, I kind of look very insane, but we're gonna make this work. I needed to know the way she spoke, the way she presented herself and posed, in a manner that wasn't like me at all, yet not too polar opposite as to appear natural. Even the length of her hair, how she brushed it back, how she combs it, was to be taken into consideration. Oh my god, oh no, what is this? Oh, and at last I see the light. Now I have never had hair this long in my entire life, not even close, and I need to applaud anyone out there who has this because bro could not see anything. I'm going insane! How do people with long hair do this? Call me delusional. But I think I have a pretty good shot at this. Denial is a river in Egypt! I also have this cute accessory that I can put on my head to also hold the wig together. Now introducing to you all, Jenny Lim. Yes, I learned how to use CapCut filters just for that. Honestly, this looks pretty good. Like, from afar, you would think this is just some helpless maiden. But then she turns around. And it is a helpless maiden. I decided to do a little bit of a test run with my friends first, and I have two friend groups to work with. One would be my college friends, who would help me evaluate which pictures work the best. The other would be the group of friends I met online, who have no idea what was coming. The entire process was very stressful. Guys, okay, so, can you tell this is me? At first, you know, it started off great. If I didn't know you, then I would say, I don't know who that is. Okay, okay, good. It's pretty convincing, right? Like, who is that? The way I gasped in shock, that does not look like you at all. I can get away with it. I could not, in fact, get away with it. Okay, I showed the pic to my friend, and she instantly said it was you. She said the eyes are obvious. Fuck! I realized that perhaps this dress was too close to my usual style. So in my desperation, I quickly swapped it out for a new one. Come on! This does not look like you. Unfortunately, at that point, my confidence had already been shaken far too much. Are you sure? Hmm? Are you absolutely sure? Or else I'm gonna look so goofy. Wait, let me show my sister. She say you are unrecognizable, fire fire fire. My mom say cat recognize also. Yippee! So then I posted Jenny's first Instagram post under the guise that her loving partner Felin San, who showed this plushie on his story a while ago, had actually bought it for her. With my friend's comments helping me sell this look, I went ahead and experimented with my other friend group. Okay, I'm about to start lying to my friends so hard but in the name of a social experiment, okay? However, I had some reservations. Before sending the photo, I decided that even though most of my online friends have only seen me in pictures, we were still close enough that they could tell right away that something was amiss. So in the last minute, I changed girlfriend into cousin. I'm so stressed! I'm so stressed! Okay, I said, guys, guys, I gave my cousin some dresses I don't wear anymore. And then I sent that picture. Oh god, I can't do this! Why am I like stroking my hair nervously? It's not even my real hair. 
Oh, this isn't gonna work. Everyone looks so fucking stupid. I was right. Her eyes look like yours. It's probably because you're related, but I almost thought that was you in the long-haired wig if you didn't mention that was her. Really? Yeah. Cue the meltdown. Oh my god! Now, at that point, since it failed, a normal person would have just gave up and told the truth, right? But for some reason, I just couldn't stop. I didn't know how to start confessing the truth. So I just kept playing along really badly. Uh, yeah, we get that a lot. Cute. How old is she? 17. Ah, a year younger than you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I forgot her birthday. <laughs> when my friend said this though, I broke. Guys. Guys. <laughs> guys. Was it? Mm -hmm. I may have mm -hmm, used you guys for a social experiment mm -hmm, and then felt too bad to keep going on. Mm -hmm, so I'm coming clean. Mm -hmm. Huh? I was at a loss at that point. I decided that I needed to keep going on because I had already invested so much time in this project. Firstly, I edited Jenny next to me for a future post on my main account. I was a bit nervous because I've never photoshopped nor do I have the software, so I was doing it completely on Ibis Paint. But it seemed to work out okay. Then I built Jenny's social media platform. First thing I did was to change the caption into something more cousiny because we have no Alabama in this channel. I then overthought it more and decided to fake an entire conversation with myself in order to prepare my audience beforehand of Jenny's existence. To do so, I took a picture of a plushie I got a while back and asked my audience to help me name it for my cousin. I then looked through the responses to find one suitable enough for shenaniganing and sent it over to Jenny. With Jenny's account, I replied with something quirky and story sharing worthy and then finally posted it to my audience. While I cropped out Jenny's username from the screenshot, I made sure to keep her profile picture there so that if my viewers were cunning enough, they would find her easily from my short following list. And I wanted that to happen because it was the easiest way to get a tiny percent of my audience to go snooping so that I can test the waters. Now everyone knows I have a dog, so I begged my friend to send me pictures of his cats that I can use to pass off as Jenny's, renaming them and then posting them on her Instagram story with a cute caption, further removing the connection between Jenny and Feline. About 60 people came to view my story and things were looking good. Alright guys, it's time to finally post the picture. I've made the LED lights on my floor red to bring off this sense of dread. There was like a little spirit there to further emphasize that. Uh, some people were sp suspicious already of Jenny, but I carried out a hyper-intelligent AI move in order to counteract that. I blocked them. Okay, so I have a picture of me and Jenny. Ew, is that what I look like in Birded? Then I have a picture of us looking at each other because I don't just post one picture at the place, I post two. So here's the caption. Happy late birthday to my cousin, who my rel relatives say look a lot like me with a mask on. What do y'all think? Might make some videos with her in the future since she's visiting. Go give her some clout as a birthday gift. So here we have strategically placed a few chess moves. Acknowledgement that I have that people say we look alike. So if anyone says we look alike, they will know that I know. So they will be more inclined to believe that this is just a mere coincidence. Third of all, might make some more videos of her in the future, giving people a reason to want to follow Jenny. And then finally, giving her some clout as a birthday gift. This is why I'm posting her, because she wants clout as a birthday gift. Should I change relatives? Who my mom? Okay, I'm not gonna ask them what they think, because like, you know, I might be a little bit suspicious. And I will tag her. <laughs> Oh, this is exciting! Because it looks so fucking stupid, but it's fine. No going back. Post it. Okay, I got this. I got this! I got this! And they, they're all wishing her happy birthday! <laughs> I'm gonna leave this alone now, and I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and see what happens. Okay. Bye bye!
So,、uh, it's the next morning. How do you think we did? What did we think happened? A. We failed. B. We succeeded. And C. I got hate crimed again. And the grand reveal. Can I get a drum roll? The hidden answer B. All of the above. Yeah, in terms of getting everyone to believe that's not me, we failed. Obviously, we failed. Like, do you just just look at this? But actually, I consider this somewhat a success because some people actually believe me, and almost all of my strategies caught someone. I honestly、um, am concerned about how easy it is to fool people on the internet nowadays. I think I deserve some admiration, okay, for pulling through while knowing that. 98% of people would see that something was fishy. So it's been less than 24 hours, and at the time of recording this, Jenny has a bit over 2,000 followers now. She has had an okay comment section, and her message requests are either people yelling at Feline, I mean yelling at me. Oh my god, this is not good for my psyche. Or just telling her happy birthday. So it's very split. Also, my strategic caption. Did come in handy. Okay, I wasn't just going cuckoo. A lot of people said they were confused until they read the caption, and then were just like, "Oh yeah, you guys do look a bit similar." So that worked. What I failed to consider, however, is that most of y'all don't know how to fucking read. Why are you not reading this caption that I strategically put up? The amount of comments that were like, "Your friend looks too much like you." That is my cousin. I wrote that that is my cousin. Yes, it is me. But come on, that's my cousin. Now, after that post, I already had a list of things I had to do. Basically, I was gonna fake another Jenny conversation to throw a few more people off, and then I was going to make some light-hearted internet beef with Jenny just to make people like Jenny more. Because if I know one thing, it is that my audience enjoys my suffering. So this video should be a nice treat. Do you have any idea how hard it was to make all those? While knowing that everyone was just gonna clown on me, but I had to persevere for the slim chance of changing one person's mind. And it wasn't just the internet clowning on me, okay? My friends in math class were clowning on me. So a lot of people were commenting Danny Gonzalez, and you know what? That is an insult to Danny Gonzalez. Also, sorry if I block some people.、Uh, I had to do it for realism because I think if Jenny was a real girl, she would not tolerate. Being <laughs> yelled at <laughs> for being her cousin. Now, okay, but I did manage to mess with one specific person. So this user commented on my post saying something like, "We know it's you, Fal," and then they DM Jenny asking like, "Hmm, does Fal like green?" But then I changed my entire personality to reply to them, which then led to them asking Jenny out on Valentine's Day. And I feel like they actually believed that Jenny was a real person. So I got you, sucker. Sorry for rejecting you, and also catfishing you, and also kind of manipulating you, and also I had to block you for precaution's sake. I'm sorry for that also. So I can do one-on-one -on -one manipulation, okay? I just can't do one versus a hundred thousand. That's not something I should be proud of. And I'm never gonna be doing this again. One, too much stress. Two, what was the point? Three, some people. <laughs> Or being kind of racist. <laughs> How? How? Like full on messaging them. All sea slurs look the same. I was gonna use that excuse. But also the people sending that weren't Asian or even Chinese, so maybe we should lay off on the、um, slur department for a sec. And then what's worse is the amount of people sexualizing Jenny with like Asian fetishes. That's not very nice. That was unexpected. Um, that was unpleasant to read. We're going to move past that. So the report of this, you know, conclusion. These were my stress levels. This was the result compared to what I expected. This was the amount of time I got clowned on in math class. So that was fun. I'm never doing this again. Thank you all for participating in this social experiment, aka I cannot win insane. Now for the next grand reveal. Pauline Sun is actually the fake persona, and I have actually been Jenny Lim all along. And I'll see you in the next one. Surprise punch.